I think Earthlings is an absolutely fantastic film. It introduces people who perhaps have only cared about their dog or a horse to all the other animals and the plight that they're in and the opportunities that exist to help them. It's a real eye-opener and I certainly have used it in presentations. I plan to use it in more presentations and at the end everyone has a million questions and the most important thing is they say those magic words, what can I do to help? Well, I think there are as many actions as there are people that you can take to be kind to animals. I think most people think they're kind and they don't want to be cruel. So from the moment you get up in the morning, the opportunities abound. It's with what you eat, what you put on your body, what you clean your teeth or shampoo your hair with. Um, these could come from factory farms, they can come from laboratories, they can come from fur farms. It's how you entertain yourself. Even charitable giving, you can choose, for example, if you are upset about human birth defects, you can give to the Easter Seals, which doesn't use animals in hideous tests, instead of to the March of Dimes, which does. So everything, from personal care products to your workplace, how you spend your free time, uh, it can all be very, very important. Your volunteerism, what kind of books and gifts you buy, if you are uh, celebrating somebody's uh, special occasion, whether you bake them something vegan and give them something that may be candles that don't contain animal products, how marvelous is that? What I've tried to do with the book is answer as many questions that people have about why animal rights, why PETA, what our positions are on various issues. And I've done this by trying to get the animals to come alive, telling true stories of individuals who happen to be hurt or even killed, sometimes rescued, who have um, been part of, say, the meat trade or the leather business, or have been cut up in dissection, where they come from, who they are, what they like to do, and what they've been deprived of. I also then tell people, don't be depressed, Here's what you can do about it. Fabulous resources, books, videos, a list of cruelty-free clothing, cruelty-free products, you name it, it's all there. It makes it easy. And finally, a list of commonly asked questions that I couldn't get to in each chapter so that your question should be there and the answer should be right after it.